Hello guys, uh, welcome back based on African motives, uh, still working on electrical trade theory N2. Uh, this platform, we are going to be focusing on electrical reticulation. So this is the question that we are going to be focusing with on electrical reticulation. That is from the question paper of November uh, 2022 that I uh, just uh, picked so that we can just have our revisions. So I given the first part on 3.1 to state three uh, advantages of radial feeder uh, system. So these are three advantages of a radial feeder system. Okay, so in this case, we have got these advantages that I have uh, picked for you. So you just pick any three from these ones. Uh, the first part that we have, uh, it is the simplest method of energy distribution. So it is the simplest method that we can have. Uh, the other part, the initial installation costs are low. The minimum cabling is required. Less maintenance is required. It is the preferred method if the secondary sub, uh, substation is at the center of all customers. So you're just going to have any three uh, from these points that we have. Uh, that was the required part of the question. All right. So if we check on 3.2, we are given to explain why a, why a power station is situated far away from major load centers. Okay, so we can have uh, so many reasons that we can give, uh, but what is the major reason that we can have? Okay, so this is the best uh, reason that we can have. It is easier to transmit electrical energy over long distances using transmission lines. So that is why we are having them far away. So it is easier to transmit electrical energy over long distances. Okay, so take note about this one. All right, so let's check the other part uh, of the question that we are given. We are given now to state the typical voltage at which uh, at each of the following, sorry, the typical voted at each of the following sections of the reticulation network. So we are given a, a series or, a, a, or so, so many uh, networks that we have. So from these ones, from these re reticulation networks that we have, uh, what are the type of voltages that we have in each section? Okay, so in the generation part, uh, which voltages is required or that we expect to have, okay? So in the generation, we have got 11 kVA, all right? So this is 11 kVA. For transmission, uh, we have got 400. So this one is uh, 400 uh, kilovolts, okay? Not kVA, but volts. This is typical voltage, all right? So this is 11 kilovolts, 400 kilovolts, and uh, which is the... Uh, this is kilovolts, not just volts, but kilo. 400 volts is for this utilization. This is the one that has got 400 volts, but this one is 400 kilo. Then the distribution normally at 132 uh, kilovolts. All right. So that is what we have. So this one can be at, uh, two, at 240 also. So this one can also be at 240 volts. Okay. So this um, normally at 400, but it can be at 240. Same with the 400 kilovolts at the transmission. We can also have this at uh, 765 uh, kilovolts. It's also part of your solution. They'll also mark this one. So these are the typical voltages that we have at each of the following sections that we're given in the reticulation uh, network. All right. So that was the question, guys, on electrical reticulation. As you can see, this is how they can ask these questions. We just have to be very careful in your theory part as you can see everything on this part was on theory and uh, just knowing some properties when you are dealing with uh, a reticulation uh, network but for now that's what we had from Amazon African motives till we meet again